Hi, my name is Vincent Hache, Principal Applications Engineer for the SwitchTech PCIe product lines. Today we're going to take a look at a pooled GPU system across a PCIe fabric and multi-host sharing of SRIOV NVM SSDs using inbox host drivers. Let's take a look at the hardware involved in this demo. Here we have four of our PAX Advanced Switch PCIe Gen 3 evaluation boards connected together in a full mesh. We have four NVIDIA GPUs, one per evaluation board, two M40 24 gigs and two M40s. There's a Samsung SRIOV SSD and we have two hosts, a Windows Server 2016 host and an Ubuntu Server 16 host. The Samsung SSD is connected at BI4 Gen 3. All other links are BI16 Gen 3. We'll be managing the GPU pool from the Fabric Manager tool in ChipLink, our debug and diagnostics utility. The top part of the display shows the physical view of the fabric. However, the loops and redundant paths within the fabric are not strictly PCIe spec compliant. So the host is presented with a much simpler PCIe tree of just the devices that are bound to it, as seen in the bottom. Details are available for all devices discovered in the fabric. Let's start our demo by binding all of our GPOs to our Windows host. The complexities of the fabric are obscured from the host. All GPUs will appear as though they are directly connected to the virtual switch. With the binding complete, let's boot the host. We've sped up the host boot time in this video. The virtual switch presented to the host is a simple, spec-compliant PCIe switch that requires no special software or drivers on the host. We can see in the device manager that the GPUs are visible and running off-the-shelf drivers with no modifications. Here's the host's view of the virtual switch. A simple PCIe switch with a configurable number of downstream ports, six in this demo. Let's switch into the CUDA directory and check if it has access to the GPUs. CUDA has discovered four GPUs that are peer-to-peer -peer capable, so let's run a peer-to-peer -peer bandwidth test. The unidirectional peer-to-peer -peer transfers are running at 12.5 to 13 gigabytes per second, and the bidirectional transfers are running at around 25 gigabytes per second. These transfers go directly across the PCIe fabric without passing through the host. Once we've confirmed that CUDA has access to the devices, we can run a TensorFlow model. For this demo, we're training the SciFAR 10 image classification algorithm. The training workload will be distributed across all four GPUs. With our TensorFlow model complete, we can release two of the GPUs back into the fabric pool. The fabric switch simulates hot remove events to the host, leaving it with two GPUs. CUDA is still alive and healthy, and the remaining GPUs can still run peer-to-peer -peer traffic, so we're able to continue running AI workloads. Let's bind the spare GPUs to our Linux host and get that host booted.
we've sped up this host boot time as well. Just as we saw on Windows, the host sees a simple, spec-compliant switch without the need for custom drivers. CUDA is able to discover the GPUs as well as run peer-to-peer -peer transfers on our Linux host. We observe similar performance on our Linux host as we did on our Windows host. This machine is now ready to run its own AI workloads. Now let's bind one of the SRIOV virtual functions to the Windows host. PAX presents this virtual function as a regular physical function NVM device, so the host is able to use the standard NVMe controller driver. At the same time, we can bind a virtual function to our Linux host. A new NVM device appears in the block device list. Both hosts can now use their virtual functions independently. PAX's ability to manage pooled PCIe resources, facilitate endpoint to endpoint communication, and share storage resources across multiple hosts significantly reduces storage costs and simplifies system design. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video or would like additional information on the PAX PCIe Fabric product, please visit our website. Thank you.